What is a wide shot used for? Oh, hey, um, um, let me just, uh, yeah. Hey, welcome to SB50 Cinematography Challenge Week 9. And today's challenge is wide shot full, no. Welcome to Week 9. This week we are combining to kind of speed this thing along here because I know many of you are like, oh my God, please, please move faster. I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about two shots today. So the first shot we're talking about is a wide shot, sometimes referred to as a master wide depending on its use, sometimes an establishing shot. But what the wide shot is for is to set up a time, a place, a, a location, a time of day, uh, the weather, the temperature, the, uh, it, there's so many things that a wide shot does in a fast, fast paced, quick little shot. Now, for instance, you're looking at me now and I'm in a full shot, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Right now, you would have no idea if it's daylight outside or if it's nighttime. You'd have no idea if I'm in a city or if I'm out in the country. You have no idea all of these various things. Is it warm out? Is it cold? Uh, are we being attacked by aliens? You don't know because all I've given you is this piece of information. So what a wide shot does or an establishing shot is it is a quick, and it's usually very quick, one to two seconds max, that gives the viewer a whole lot of information. Cat, leave the tripod alone. It gives the information to the viewer really, really fast. And that is out there, you saw we're in the country, it's daytime, it's cloudy, uh, it's somewhat mid-morning. You get all of that information. Now you know when I cut to this shot next, I am inside of that house. And that is what it's used for. So you can use it, you can uh, show a forest. And the next scene, you're inside a tent. Now people know you're inside a tent. They also know if it's snowing. They can they can tell uh, if it's warm or if it's raining or uh, if you're surrounded by other campers and you have to whisper quiet, that's why you're whisper quiet, or you don't want to disturb the bear that's right outside. There's a lot of things that you can establish with an establishing shot in a very short period of time. So you usually go from a wide shot or an establishing shot right into your uh, your full shot and your full shot sets up kind of the room. It's kind of like a wide in a little more uh, intimate area. So this is what they call a full shot. And a full shot is basically a shot that contains everything in your surrounding that matters. Um, typically it's a full person or a full animal or a full room, that kind of thing. In this case, it is me in my entire shorts and house shoes, my dog right below, my cat messing with a tripod, me sitting at my computer, Googling all of these things. Um, all of that is done in, in a full shot. So what the challenge is, you know what? I'm not quite sure if I explained that well. Bill, um, did what did you get from, from what I just said? If I'm following this correctly, I can use this scene to show a passage of time to lead in to this scene for the challenge, correct? So then I can use that scene to show that the setting is in the arena and the time of day and show that I am in the arena when we come to this scene. That's the way this works, right? Oh, okay, so I explained it perfectly. Well, I mean, that's the way I feel like I teach, but you just never know until you actually ask someone. So, weeks nine, Weeks nine? <laughs> so week nine's, week, week, so week number nine's challenge is a two shot. So we're gonna do a wide establishing shot and then we're going to cut into a long or a uh, full shot, which is what this would be. It can be of any subject you need. Set us up, let us know first with that wide shot where this is, what it is, where, when it is, what's the temperature, everything that we need to know about what's happening on the, the next shot, set that up real fast, do one to two seconds. You can go ahead and start using other movements that you've learned in your 
previous shots, which you probably already knew anyway, but you can start combining those movements into these shots. So a wide shot is typically either just kind of a slow zoom in, could be static, could be a pan up to show like how a high rise building, anything like that. You could start putting in your movements in there. So I want you to do an establishing shot and then cut to a long shot or a full shot of whatever your story is next. Keep it under 10 seconds, have a little fun with it. I mean, cause that's what we're doing here. We're having just a little bit of fun and uh, yeah, you know, get out there and get creating. Cause I know it's a little little frustrating at times that we're, we're so slow on the draw getting, uh, getting our information out, but we're trying as fast as we can. We, we have very complicated lives, <laughs> both of us. So, uh, I mean, with, with all the space travel that Bill's doing and you know, my work with underprivileged whales, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of work for us. So please, hope, hope you stick with us. Hope you bring all your friends with us. Hope you're having a lot of fun. Be sure to comment and like all the everybody's videos that are out there. Talk, talk about them. Let people know what you think about them. Uh, make sure you subscribe to both Bill's channel and my channel. And uh, yeah, as I always like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions. Stop it.